It's called Planet Tiamat, but we know it more so as like Planet Kai because you know, Planet Kai, like more recent ancestors use that name. Now our ancestral pool way dates back from 20,000 years ago from when Egypt was at its prime. That's when we call it Tiamat because this is when like, we were like at its, our highest peak of evolution. We knew things, we knew how to activate things. We knew based off of vibration, frequency, and energy alone. Now things have gotten really dense and disconnected us from source, AKA like the trees. We've seen the avatar, right? You understand an avatar, when they connect the source, all the information is always there. It's there, like they can pull into it. It's a memory card. They can tap into it and they can uh, derive any information that they can from it at any time, right? That is how like you are able to remember things. Same thing in Black Panther. He went in the dirt, you know what I'm saying? He connected, he grounded himself, he anchored himself in source, AKA, you know, dirt, you know, and crossed his arms, you, you, you notice that? This is to balance out his chakras in both left and right hemisphere. This is why they cross their arms. They they typically put the left over the right. If you put the right over, over the left, then you're governing with like, you know, off of masculinity. But if you put your left over your right, you're uh, you're more led by feminality. Now, feminality doesn't mean girl at all, or masculine doesn't mean God. This is an energy, a consciousness that is hold into that frequency. So both yin and yang, feminine and masculine is required. You're technically a feminine and a masculine being at the same time. Just because you may have different genitalia doesn't mean that you're, oh, I'm women or I'm, it does not mean that. It means the energy that you most likely composed of. So you hold, AKA your zodiac. Your zodiac shows you what you are majority energy of or which which energy you are you are majority of okay so if you're like sagittarius or if you're like libra if you're like gemini like all of these tell you the components of your energy centers into your body which is what's going on right now so if you guys notice this solar flare that's hitting us right now it's causing a lot of things to act up first of all your technology is wonky all right your brain you're throwing like more fits and you're having like these short spans of breath. These short spans of breath is your chakras turning back on your Kundalini and it starts at the base. Now, if anything is closed, it's gonna get stagnant. It's gonna cause you to literally like wonk out. So you gotta make sure that your chakras is open. And how you do that is you make sure your energy is open. Your emotions is open. It means you're not, you're letting things go. You are not closing and holding and you're not trying to, you know, not release things you have to release it okay to get your energy centers going again i'm telling you man the serpent's energy is just your kudalini activating okay and the more you are on this vibration the more it activates so the more you remember who you are that's why knowing planet tiamat and kai is so crucial that opens up your chakras that information unlocks so much within your body alone talk speaking the name planet kai activates your chakras. Yes, I'm saying because you're vibrating on those frequencies. So you're using those energies. You're using your tongue to manifest that within the body. So you're going to wake up, turn more online. You feel me? You're going to you're going to activate. You may be feeling like uh, words don't come out of how of how, you know, you, you you view them in your brain. You may be thinking of one thing, but the word come out one way, just like in my last video. I was like, Zelanthia. <laughs> it was so funny because I was just watching the third, but it's a very good king point on things. Things is literally switching its, its other vibration, its previous, AKA 3, 4, D, into like a 6, D, which is why everything's coming out. I don't know if you noticed, like everything, everything's coming out. I bet with you too. I bet you're leveling up and everything's coming out within you. You're changing. You're seeing things from a different perspective. Your vibration is altering. If you were one way, I bet you now way you're switching to the other way. And so as forth the other way, I know. I bet you're experiencing things, major levels, major levels. You are evolving right now. I, a lot of stuff is going on. You're going through your darkest night of the soul. The thing that you cannot ever, huh, let's say, fathom having to deal with like your weakest, most weak point, that is your dark night of the soul. You have to make that your strength because it's not even real, it's false evidence. So if this is being brought to your occasion, congratulations, you are evolving. 
Not many people's on this journey. Trust me, from what I've seen, not many people chosen to step into their power, step into this whole new vibration that's taken over the planet. Anything that's lower than this, it does not matter. They can say this, say that. It has no power over at all. I'm telling you, they, the opposers are so mob and weak that it is embarrassing. They're trying anything they can do to have any leniency over. Look at the gas. They don't even smell like gas anymore. I think it's like 60% water, maybe like 30% ethanol. They don't even use like even half as much ethanol they were using before. So you're so you're running out of gas quicker. You know what I'm saying? You're finding yourself more impatient. You're you're, you're noticing things are up, their prices are up or marked up. You're just your just your awareness is like way more keen. You're just you're like an eagle. You're focusing more on things and you're seeing things for what they are. And the shit, it could be this much spec and you way back there. But I bet you are noticing things way more in your limelight than you ever did in the past because you weren't, it wasn't in your awareness. You weren't, you weren't on that vibration. As you switch to different frequencies, your personality is gonna switch and you're gonna keep altering and switching your vibration all the time, is what I'm telling you. Alright? So keep so be patient with yourself right now. I was gonna say keep yourself in a higher, high, high, high vibration. I don't even want to say that no more, man, because that can be hard sometimes. Hard. Some, some, sometimes, man, you may be going through them baby baby tantrums, yo. No different than you was when a baby, when you were growing up, you're gonna be doing the same thing now. I guarantee, I, I already know. I bet you be like overthinking, overanalyzing your head like, oh man, that's embarrassing. I shouldn't be acting like a baby. No, you are nothing more than a baby. That's it. You're a baby right now. You're just evolving. Baby stages is when you're growing. A baby, don't think of a baby like a toddler. Think of it like you change it. And as this planet changes back to its organic structure, its full chrysalis stage, you're gonna be experiencing more baby tantrums. So just be patient with yourself. Be mindful of this, it's very important. Hold yourself accountable for the vibration and frequency that you hold. So, being this, if you know you're gonna have a tantrum, if you know you're in like a shaky, wonky state, don't, don't, don't go around individuals that you know is gonna want to get a reaction out of you because then you just end up blacking out. Don't do that. Keep yourself in the highest state possible by holding yourself accountable. So instead, put yourself in a better state or a better vibration pool where you know things like that are less likely to happen because you understand what is going on. That's why awareness is key right now. It is so important to be aware. Bro, I'm about to tell y'all. So I'm gonna pick up on uh, um, third part. If y'all check out my other two videos of what happened, y'all. So the universe was testing me, but it also was testing a bunch of the other, um, other people. It used me to give people another way, give them one last chance. Because when you're when you're walking and you're spreading some kind of light or when you're pushing something, it uses you to see if you know what you say you know. Meaning that it tests you like a mother. So if you say you're strong, it's gonna put you in a situation and see, okay, I wanna see how strong you are. If you say you have faith and you believe in source, you know, you know, divinity, then it puts you in that scenario to see, okay, trust me then. Trust me then. I'm telling you, it's gonna test you. That's what it's doing right now, but it's also testing other individuals to see if they're worthy of still maintaining space on this on, 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 on this plane. <laughs> Because not everybody can hold a certain level of vibration to where they're worthy to be on this plane. You have to be worthy to walk on planet Kai, aka TMI. You have to be worthy. Not everybody's worthy, and that's what's going on. That's why a lot of chaos. So you notice on TikTok, social media, they're gonna be putting a lot of fear. They're gonna be like, oh man, they're gonna be like, it's shaky, everything is this, it's about to explode. Like all of a sudden now, it wasn't doing this four, five, six years ago. Now though, when you're coming into your light though, all of a sudden everything is just wrong. All the food and they're gonna this and no, I'm telling you, that's a big okie doke. The more they do that, the more fearful they are. So just know every time they try to bring that out of you, just know there's just self projecting.